Welcome to this very first video of Scientifically Simple. Our aim is to provide information in the most simple and understandable manner. In this video, we would be explaining the process of DNA extraction by plant or animal tissue. DNA extraction is a basic practical or a procedure which is done before the beginning of mo mo many molecular studies. The extraction of biomolecules of DNA, RNA and protein is the most crucial method in molecular studies. It is the starting point for any downstream processes such as product development including diagnostic kits, DNA, RNA and the protein which can be isolated from any biological material such as living or conserved tissues, cells, virus particles or other samples. The very first DNA isolation was done by Swiss physician Frederick Mischer in 1869. There are two categories that involve in purifying DNA includes the isolation of recombinant DNA constructs such as plasmid or bacteriophage and the isolation of chromosomal or genomic DNA from a prokaryote or an eukaryote organism. The preparation includes various methods which is the mini prep method in which there is a small sample which yields approximately 50 to 100 mu g of DNA material. The maxi prep method. In this, the culture volume is about 15 to 25 ml and yields 100 to 350 mi microgram of DNA. The mid prep culture has a culture volume of about 100 to 200 ml and it yields in 500 to 850 mu g of DNA. The macro prep has a culture volume of about 500 ml to 2.5 liters and can yield about 1.5 to 2.5 mg. The Giga Prep has a culture volume of 2.5 to 3 liters and can yield about 7.5 to 10 mg of the sample. There are various different kits based on the extraction of DNA, which can extract DNA from tissues, blood, cell, plant cells, viral DNA, bacterial DNA, etc. There are various brands which have DNA extraction kit of which is Thermo Fisher Scientific. Uh, it has a various simple method for extraction of DNA. Uh, other example is Pro Omega. It also has a very simple protocol for extraction of DNA and it has dedicated appendoffs and tubes for extraction of this kit. The another example is of Quigen, which is a tissue DNA extraction kit. There are various requirements for extraction of DNA in lab method, which includes the chemicals. The basic chemicals required are phenol, chloroform, isoamyl alcohol, 1x PBS, 10x of SGS, ethanol, DPC water, Glassware are the glass pipette, measuring cylinder, conical flask. The equipments which are required are the centrifuge, vortex machine. The other requirements are fresh tissue samples, crushed ice, micro tips, micro pipettes, and append of tube. The procedure is first we weigh one gram of tissue of the plant or an animal extract, which is a cauliflower bud or a goat liver tissue. Then we add 10 ml of 1x PBS and 5 ml of 10% SGS and then break this tissue in fine parts. Then we obtain 0.5 ml of this crushed tissue in an append off and add equal volume of this PCI mixture. Then it is vortexed vigorously for about 2 minutes and then it is centrifuged at 10,000 RPM for 10 minutes. Once it is centrifuged a phase separation occurs having an upper aqueous phase middle whitish interface and a lower organic phase. As we can see in this diagram, there is an upper aqueous phase, a middle interface and a lower phase containing RNA. The procedure is then followed by obtaining the aqueous phase in a fresh append of tube and we add equal volume of ethanol to this and then in incubate it for 5 minutes for the precipitation of DNA. The cent it is then centrifuged at 10,000 RPM for 10 minutes and the DNA pellet will be obtained and discarded. 
it is then air dried and the pellet is then dissolved in about 30 microliter of DPC water and stored at minus 20 degrees. The stored DNA can be used for performing various further studies such as in gel electrophoresis, PCR, fingerprinting and cloning. I hope you enjoyed this video and got an informative about extraction of DNA. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel Scientifically Simple. We would wait for any of your comments and queries in the comment section and if you have any doubts you can also mail us at scientificallysimple1 at the rate gmail.com.